So today we're going to look at setting up your IMC network traffic analyzer with your HP S-Flow capable switch. So what's S-Flow going to do for you? Why would you want to do this? Um, you may not know what applications are currently running on your network, or maybe you'd like to know who's using your bandwidth, who's using all the bandwidth across your WAN links, um, or maybe you're just having trouble setting this up and you need a little help. Let's have a look. So the first thing we need to do is log into the switch and go into system view mode. All right, this is uh, equivalent to enable mode on a Cisco switch. We're going to display commands to show you what we've already got set up here. We've got SFlow agent IP address, which is the IP address of the device, the source. So um, again, this will be the source address it'll, it'll generate showing from. And in this case, we have two collectors. One specified as collector three. That's the one we're going to be using today. And uh, pointing to 10.101.0201, which is your destination, your SFlow collector that you want to send it to. Next thing we need to do is set it up on the actual interface. So again, we're going to just do a display this. I've already got this set up. Show you guys what we're looking at here. Um, in this case, we're only concerned with the bottom four commands. The SFlow sampling rate, SFlow flow collector, that's where we define which collector we're going to actually send this to. Um, for additional information, please refer to the documentation. So now we're going to want to go in and set up the IMC uh, network traffic analyzer module. So the first thing we want to do is go into uh, services, network analysis and audit. We want to go down to the settings. We want to set up some parameters first and make sure we uh, make the most out of your, your network traffic analysis. All right, so we're going to scroll down here to the bottom, go into parameters. We've got up at the top here, report top end. How many how many applications do you want to be in your top end reports between 1 and 50? Your log lifetime. Um, this is important. By default, these are turned off. The TOS, MPLS experimental traffic analysis, and then on application traffic analysis. These are important to leave turned on, and we'll show you why in a second. So we're going to click on settings here. Go into device management. Now we're going to specify which device we're going to we're going to use. So click on the add button. Click on select. Use your selector here. Go in. Use your query. Find the the device, the 5500EI that we were looking at. Again, you can see that 221 IP address. It's the same one. Use a down arrow to select it. And click OK. Automatically, this will populate with all the appropriate information. We're good to go here. Click OK. Now you can see up at the top, this is actually successfully added. Everything's good. Now this next step is something a lot of people miss. You're going to click on server management, go into modify. We actually need to bind this S-Flow, this collection that's now being sent to the server. So up here we have the port numbers. So if you're using some other device, you have to put in a custom port. Those are the ports you want to send to. Now we're going to click on the HP switch that we just set up and bind it to this specific server. So you may have more than one server in your environment and, and we need to bind it to the appropriate server for reporting. Deployed successfully. Everything's good. Click on the back button. Click on settings. Now we're going to actually set up the analysis task. Add interface. We have a few different kinds of tasks here. The only one that applies right now is the interface again. The documentation does go through the other types of tasks. Fill in a descriptive task name, descriptive task description. We'll use basically network traffic analysis. I know this is connected to the internet gateway, so maybe we'll call this internet. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is click select here, and this defines the operator group list. So this defines who's going to be able to actually see this interface task. So if perhaps you uh, create an interface task and you can't see it later, you didn't check that checkbox. Now we're going to say gigabit ethernet 102, check the interface we actually want to report on. This corresponds to the switch config that we did earlier. Click OK. Again, everything's good here. Click. Now this may take a few minutes for this to start populating data, so don't be too concerned if you don't start seeing data right away. So now we're going to click on the actual task we created, and look at that. We've got data. 
So again, the, the toss, the experimental bits, this is actually the DSCP value. So this gives you kind of a gross ability to just check your, your QoS settings, make sure your markings are happening where they should be in the appropriate points in your network. I'm going to click on the application button here and we're going to be able to see some of the applications that are currently running on the network. So not a lot going on here in my lab, HTTP, TTPS, SNMP. So the other checkbox that we checked earlier was the unknown protocol analysis. And we're going to take a look at that now. So what we're seeing right now is some unknown UDP ports, some applications that we're running across the network. In this case, we actually know that this last one here, 10.0.0.5.3, is a custom application running on our network. So we click on the Define Application button, fill in the type. In this case, we're just going to call it Custom Application. Description, Custom Application. And from this point forward, this will actually be reported on as its own specific application with your own specific name. So if you've got your own apps in your environment and you want to do some custom reporting, feel free to extend this. And see you next time on the next IMC tutorial.